This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, if a square room has a 13 foot long wall, what is its floor area? So again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator. For that reason, in addition to knowing these basic geometry formulas, you also have to be able to work out these questions by hand. In this case, we're talking about a room that's in the shape of a square. So let's go ahead and draw a square. You should recall that one of the properties of squares is that all the sides are equal. So if this room has a 13 foot long wall, that means all these walls are gonna be 13 feet as well. And we wanna know the area of the floor. In other words, we're gonna be finding the area of this square. How do you find the area of a square? It's gonna be its side length squared. We know the side length is gonna be 13, so this becomes 13 squared. For the ASVAB and PyCat, uh, your mental math ability is what's gonna set you apart. In this case, you should know your perfect squares from one to 20, because you would know that 13 squared is gonna be 169. That said, if you didn't know 13 squared is 169, 13 squared is the same thing as 13 times 13. So you could go ahead and work it off on your own scratch paper on test day. Three times three is gonna be nine. One times three is three. Before you start multiplication with this one, bring in a zero placeholder. One times three is three. One times one is one. Let's add this all up. This is nine, six, one. So in other words, the area of the floor of this square room is gonna be C, 169 square feet.